Hi, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm actually looking to make sure that everything is working out. Give me just a second. Yeah. So I wanted to jump on. It's been a while since I've done a Facebook Live in on my personal page. I actually have a private group, and that's the first thing I want to mention to you. For any women entrepreneurs or women that strive to be entrepreneurs or women that want to be about around like-minded women that are really, really focused on being what they want to be in their life and getting past their obstacles and striving to be more, I have a private group called Galit's Women Empowering Women. You're more than welcome to search it on Facebook, and you're also welcome to just comment yes, and I will add you to the group. I'm very big about never adding anybody to the group. In my opinion, that's Facebook etiquette. You should follow it. Never add anybody to your group, any groups without asking permission. I get added all the time, and I don't even know who these people are. So if you're interested in that, that's the first thing I want to say. The other thing that I really wanted to say to you guys is this. Somehow, January flew by. <laughs> I don't even know how. So many of you know that I moved into a new home after 14 and a half years in December. It was a whirlwind. It was moving. Everybody says, when I say, oh, I'm moving, you should see people's faces. They go, oh, no, you're moving. I get it now. I hadn't done it in so long. I forgot what it was like. But obviously, it takes a little time to get yourself situated. I took the two weeks of Christmas break. That's what I call it because I have kids. And I really worked at moving with my guy and my kids. So we're situated a lot better than we were, but we're still living a little bit in out of sorts and chaos. So I think one of the things that I wanted to share with you is this. First of all, I don't know where January went. I'm so thankful for so much that came into my life in the last month. A lot of new beginnings. I love new beginnings. I'm one of those weird people that likes change. And I get, change excites me. A lot of things fell into my lap that I never anticipated. I'm actually part of a book with uh, Danielle Ford called Leading Las Vegas as someone that influences Las Vegas and has really made an impact. Thank you, Danielle. If you haven't bought it, please buy it because it's going to be amazing. My interviews in there with her. And also, I had the opportunity to attend Sundance, an industry I've never been involved in. Very interesting industry. Lots of speaking engagements, new clients. I'm very, very thankful. What I wanted to share with you today was this. And this is something that is kind of a sore topic, but what I try to do on my Facebook is really be genuine and authentic. I don't know what else to be. So sometimes that means being vulnerable. Sometimes that doesn't feel so good. There's been times I've been on here and I've cried. There's been times on here where I've been nervous. I've had anxiety. And I think that's because for me, I feel like the biggest impact I can make is by genuinely letting people know I'm just a normal person that goes through her own crap every single day, just like everybody else. And I choose to work through it every day, and you can choose to work through it too. So everybody has a different perspective for when you don't feel like yourself. <laughs> I'll make a funny joke and say, the guys like to call it PMS. <laughs> Uh, some people like to call it the energy. Some people like to say it's the full moon. Some people like to say whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. But when you wake up in the morning and you just don't feel like yourself, now what does that mean? You're a little anxious. You're out of sorts. You're triggered really easy. You're ready to pick a fight. You're, it could even be something as you're sad. It could be so many different things. And this starts impacting the people around you because they can feel it. And then it impacts your day. What do you do? So I know as someone that works every single day on her affirmations, her mindset, her positivity, I'm human. It happens to me. And it happens to me more often than you know. So I think what I would tell you is this. Typically, it's your thoughts. Now, I always say, if I could figure out the solution to 100% being able to control your own thoughts, because they are your thoughts, right? Oh my gosh, I would share that with the world from my heart, because 
They're my thoughts. Why are they working against me? So if you really think about it, when you're not feeling like yourself, it typically has something to do with what's happening in your brain. What is it that you're talking to yourself about? What is it you're saying in the shower? What is it you're saying to yourself before you go to bed? What is it that you're saying to yourself when you're driving in the car? And it always tends to be when it's quietest. So one of the things that I can give you is this, and this is something that I do. First of all, I give myself a pass. We're so hard on ourselves, and gosh, am I hard on myself. Give yourself a pass and recognize you're just human. You're not always gonna feel like yourself. For me, when possible, I disconnect from people. I have a stay-at-home day, and I'm very blessed. I work for myself, so I make my own schedule. I might see some clients, because I see a lot of my speaking and business clients through video, because not all, most of them don't live in Vegas. So I'm able to get through a call, put it on, turn it on, and then take a break. So first, please give yourself a pass. You're human. Your body and your mind can only handle so much. And listen to your body, listen to yourself. Because when you ignore it, it builds up and you either end up sick, you end up freaking out, I don't know, getting in a big fight, doing something that you really don't want to do. So that's one of the first things that I would really suggest. The second thing that I would suggest when you're feeling out of sorts is asking yourself why. And my clients giggle because I ask them to talk to themselves a lot. But I tell them to please not do it in public because I cannot be responsible for the outcome if people are starting to watch you talk to yourself. <laughs> Who knows how that's going to end up. But talk to yourself and ask yourself, why do I feel out of sorts? I know it sounds funny, but you will get an answer. Now, you might not always like the answer, and you might have to dig deeper, but you will get an answer. So I ask myself, why am I out of sorts? So for me today, I'm a little overwhelmed. January flew by. I have no idea where it went. And there's a lot going on, and I'm just one person, and I'm human. So then, after I figure out why I'm feeling out of sorts, I make sure that I take care of that part of me. I make sure that I really deal with it. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if you've ever sweeped things under the carpet, they're going to keep showing up till you deal with them. There's people that say, I keep dating the same kind of person. Well, that's because you're not dealing with why you're dating the same kind of person. And it's not working out. There's people that say, I'm just unhappy every single day. Well, are you dealing with why you're unhappy? There's some people that say, well, I hate what I do. So it starts out my day out of sorts. Well, are you dealing with why you hate what you do? It's amazing to me how many people would prefer being unhappy and not doing what they love or not being in a life that they choose to have because it's easier to stay in that place than to get uncomfortable and allow change. It amazes me every day. And I'm telling you right now, I'm only telling you this if it resonates with you. If it doesn't, that's great. I think it's wonderful. And I really hope everyone that's watching this is happy with their life. But if you wake up out of sorts and you don't feel like yourself, it is possible there's something you need to look at. And I say look at because I'm so visual. There might be something you need to look at in your life. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's not the easiest things to look at. I've been there and I've done that. I've made some changes in my life the last five years that I never imagined I would in my life. My businesses, income, my relationship. It's not easy to make change. Now, I recognize that I get told a lot that I make it look really easy. That's because you guys get to see this. That's why I jump on here and I'm genuine and authentic. Because you don't see what's happening behind the scenes. Let's say behind the door panel. You don't see the work that somebody's putting in to make change look easy. Because I have chosen a life that doesn't feel good all the time. It feels uncomfortable. I get butterflies a lot. I get that little stomach feeling here a lot. I've chosen that. That's up to you if you want to choose that life or not. If you're happy and you're comfortable, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're out of sorts and you don't feel like yourself, you probably aren't yourself because there's something down deep inside you that's really truly you. And I'm letting you know right now, and I've seen this with a lot of my clients. When you are not true and authentic and genuine to who you are, it'll keep showing up and it'll make you crazy. 
Now it might not make you crazy. It might make you sad. It might make you anxious. It might make you angry. And you might figure out a way to live with it for the rest of your life and wake up one day and look back and say, why did I not do that? Why did I not make this choice? Why did I not make this change? So what I want to leave you with today is, first of all, thank you. Thank you for giving me a platform to be able to share and make an impact. Because for me, the most amazing thing in the world is that one person private messages me or comments, thank you, I needed that today. I only need one. I'm happy with that. That, to me, is living my purpose. So thank you for being on this journey with me. I don't know what else to be but me. I hope that you will choose to be you. And I have to tell you, change at first causes chaos. Oh my gosh, the chaos it causes. It's okay, because on the other side is a beautiful, beautiful world waiting for you. And yes, I get told I look through rose-colored glasses a lot. I'm okay with that, because you need to have somebody that sees the positive, and you need to have somebody that sees the half glass full. It doesn't mean I don't have a reality for the world that we live in, and trust me, I do. And sometimes it's really hard for me being who I am. But I want you to know that there's always somebody out there that's going to understand you, that's going to get you, and that has gone through what you've gone through. I can't believe that there isn't another person in this world that hasn't experienced what you have. There's enough people in this world that there's got to be at least one. So the next time that you are out of sorts, forgive yourself. Try to figure out why, and then maybe make a decision to choose to change something so you don't feel that way again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I really, truly appreciate all of you.